it's Michael and Christina from Journey of a Compass, and this is week 21, and we are talking about... Camera gear and travel accessories. So this is basically all of our travel accessories and camera gear. Michael's gonna have most of the camera stuff in his day bag, so we essentially wear it in the front because we've got our backpacks on the back. I've got other travel accessories and we'll walk you through everything. Let's start with the obvious choice. Water bottles. First and probably the most important thing in our travel accessories, our water bottle. We each have a hydro flask, which is really great. It'll keep it cold for 24 hours. We also have a two liter water bladder for when we're walking around the city, some extra wire that we can bring with us. As you saw in the first video, we have the double sized hammock by Chillax, which we absolutely love. Uh, we used it many, many times this summer, anytime there's two trees close enough together. So both the, uh, the, the hammock itself and the actual ropes are in here. First aid, first aid little baggie, has a few basic things like band-aids, uh, tape, anti-tire <laughs> medication, and also some antiseptic ointment. Uh, with a few uh, safety gloves just in case. Laundry hamper. So we're gonna hang that on the door and we can put all our dirty laundry in there, which is pretty key. We each have our Kindles, so any books that we want to read at any point in time will have all condensed on this Kindle. We each have a travel journal. This one's actually really <laughs> We each have a travel journal slash a notebook for taking any notes, making lists, any kind of organization. Reflection. Cup reflection, a couple <laughs> pens, a couple markers, uh, depending on if we do some hitchhiking, we might need a big black marker, and obviously pens for any journaling or note taking that we need to do. We both sold our laptops to get lighter laptops, which was really important for weight for us. We each have our own personal computer. Once again, it is Mac versus PC. I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. And I have the Microsoft Surface 4, which is about 12.3 inches, and it weighs about two and a half pounds. Mine weighs less than that. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We have a bag that we're gonna be bringing with us most days, either to stuff any groceries or things like that. Some carabiners, very easy to clip on to pretty much anything, especially the water bottles, which is super key, so then we can carry it around with us and don't actually have to stick it in the bag anymore. So we have two travel adapters, uh, one black one and one white one, just so that we can separate a who's is who's. These ones are used pretty much internationally. We can use them in any country, I think up to 190 countries, so very handy. Also some backup debit cards and credit cards that we'll be keeping in different parts of our bag as well as a little tiny wallet. We forgot to mention uh, one of our little water purifier devices that we have for places that we don't have a lot of clean water and we don't want to get sick. Uh, this is called the Sterapin Traveler. It essentially uses UV light to kill any bacteria in the water. We each have a headlamp. They're always handy to have <gasps> whenever you do uh, caves or in situations where you're in the dark and you need to see light. We have an outlet for a quadruple USB port so that we can essentially charge four things at once. Super practical by Anchor. We tried it and it definitely doesn't take a long time for it to charge the four items. It doesn't like split it up or diffuse it if I'm in any way. We also got this very handy organizer for cords. It's amazing. Essentially what you do is you can roll up and slide underneath a bit of a tab so you don't have any cords tangling up on you. It's pretty handy. One cool thing that I picked up uh, Michael's on, really excited on Amazon this. is because of my Surface Pro, I only have one USB um, slot and if I want to do any video editing using a mouse and or attaching it to hard drives as well to move files around, I can't. I have to plug everything out or unplug everything and transfer the files. It's way too difficult. So I got this thing which essentially splits into four USBs so that I can actually transfer files between hard drives. We each have one tetrabyte hard drive to essentially back up all of our videos, photos, and memories. We'll each have one USB in our bags so that we can essentially replicate everything twice and each have a copy in case one bag gets stolen. Now for our camera gear, we have a multitude of devices for taking videos and photos. So starting with our camera, which is actually on the tripod right now. The camera is a DSLR camera, which we pretty much use for most of our videos and some of our, actually most of our photos as well. We also have a camera lens or a zoom lens that goes with the uh, DSLR Sony, which we'll be using for wildlife photos. A couple batteries for the Sony, as well as the charger for the Sony batteries. A fluorescent light that we have on top of our camera, which helps to uh, make our faces a little bit brighter and any images that we actually want to 
brighten up up close. With our camera, it requires SD cards to store any of the data from the photos and the videos. And we have a little case here that essentially stores all of our SD cards. We have a small lapel microphone, uh, which is gonna be helpful for when we're in situations where we wanna record some audio in our voices, but there's so much background noise. We have a GoPro case, which has, holds all of our GoPro accessories as well as the actual camera itself. We have a Google Nexus 7 phone, which will be going on our gimbal. The gimbal is a device that keeps the phone stable while recording or taking photos, uh, but it's particularly useful whenever you're in motion. Uh, because it keeps it level the entire time. We also have a old video camera that Michael traveled Australia, New Zealand, and Southeast Asia with. It's a good backup camera. I yeah. mean, it, it's, it does HD quality, but it, it uh, is not super practical. However, for whatever reason, we run out of battery out of any of our other devices, and there's something that we really want to capture, we can always jump to this little baby. For our camera here, we have these soft cloth, I think they're probably like silk, uh, which you used to actually clean off some of the lenses. Thanks for watching our video on our camera gear and travel accessories.